Problem number six of section 3.1 gives us a relation x squared minus y squared equals 80, and we're asked to find the derivative of y with respect to t um, at the point uh, when uh, x, the derivative of x with respect to t is 12, point x is equal to 10, and y is greater than zero. Now, of course, we're assuming that um, x and y are both functions of time and are related by this equation. Now, we're going to use a combination of the chain rule and implicit differentiation to solve for dy dt. Now, if we just, uh, take the derivative with respect to t of both sides of the equation, we find that two, we get 2x, and now we need to apply the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of x with respect to t. And take the derivative of the second term, which will be minus 2y times dy dt, which is the quantity that we're solving for, is equal to, and the derivative of any constant is just 0. So now we can solve for, or substitute in the values that we know, and then solve for dy dt. We know that x is equal to 10, so 2 times 10. And we also know that dx dt is equal to 12, times 12, uh, minus 2y times dy dt equals 0. Now, the only point that we don't have here is, um, is our value y, which we can solve for that just by substituting into our equation our value for x. So we know that uh, if we put in x equals 10, we have 100 minus y squared is equal to 80, which implies that negative y squared is equal to negative 20 implies that y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 20. But we're assuming that y is greater than 0. So we have that y is equal to the positive square root of 20. So I'll write this, positive square root of 20. Now we can just simplify this and solve for dy dt. So dy dt will equal, well here we have 2 times 10 is 20 times 12 or 240 becomes negative if we move it to the right hand side. And then we divide by 2 times the square root of 20. Now we can simplify this a little bit. Uh, we notice that the square root of 20 factors as Um, square root of 20 is equal to 2 times the square root of 5. See that this all reduces to um, 60. So we have 240 divided by 4 over the square root of 5. And I notice that I moved this to the right hand side and it became negative. And I should divide here by a minus 2 square root 20. So the sign here is positive. So the final answer is 60 over square root 5.